This is part two of the Flame Audio tutorial. Part one showed you how to play background music for your game on Android. This video will show you how to stop the background music and change the track. We're controlling the play and stop with a single tap on the mobile app screen. So we're gonna create a Boolean variable called playing music to check to see if the audio is already playing or not. And if it's not playing, then when we tap the screen once, it will start playing. Remember that Flame Audio is a separate package. It's not actually part of the Flame package. To get on tap up, you should have the mix in tap detector on your Flame game. It's in the input package of Flame. We'll set up an if statement check to see if it's not playing music. If it's not playing music, then play the music and we'll set the playing music Boolean variable to true. Else, uh, we'll stop the music and you should actually use the built-in bgm.stop method. Then just set the playing music to false. Run the game and tap the screen. We're going to set up another integer variable for track number. Uh, this tutorial only has two tracks, but you could easily add as many tracks as you want it to. Um, we're using the double tap in order to cycle around between the different tracks. We'll use the mix in double tap detector. A previous video showed how to use tappable on sprite components to make a graphical button. This tutorial doesn't cover buttons. It's just using the screen. And so you only have single tap and double tap. You do have the tap error information, so you could change it so that based on where they're tapping, the uh, behavior of the application changes. Since you added the mix in double tap detector, we now have this method on double tap within the flame game that we're gonna override and add some additional functionality. So we'll have the initial, we'll set the track number, we'll increment it. And then in the single tap portion on tap up, we'll set up a, a switch statement and check to see what track level or what track we're on. And if we're on track number one, then we'll play the first track if we're on track number two, we'll play the second track. So it, it'd be pretty easy to add additional tracks in here. And we'll set up a, a loop within the double tap to, to check to see if, um, you know, if it's over the maximum number of tracks, then we'll just set it back to the first track. This short project is pretty fun to build because these audio tracks have such a powerful emotion experience and you can pick the one that you want for your game. Run the game, test out stop, start, and double tap to change the track. In the double tap method, I'm gonna hard code the number of tracks I have. So you'll need to increment or change the integer from two if you have more than two tracks. But if it's more than two, I'm gonna set the track back down to the first track. Congratulations, it's working. In the next video, we'll show you how to get some rudimentary interface on the screen for instructions and track level number, as, as well as whether the audio is playing or not. 
After we finish the next step, we're then going to go back to our visual novel, integrate background music. There are many other videos in the 2022 Flame Tutorial series, as well as 26 videos in the 2021 series. Subscribe to the channel for future updates. These videos are all on Teachable as a free course. There is no upsell as this is purely a hobby for me. I'm using Teachable only for the progress so you can see how far you have progressed through the course. It also makes it easier for me to organize the videos and the sequence of information that I'm presenting. In whatever way you choose to learn, the most important thing is to keep on trying to learn and have fun while doing it. Have a great day.